They say the people of the south, you have your brothers abroad. Yeah, you have Simon Ekpa and the Mazin Namdikano. Oh, so let them they come and feed you. Mazin Namdikano and IPOB. They brought palliative. It may not go to entire Biafra, but that was palliative. What did the governors do? Did the governors demonstrate any atom of sympathy from you people? The answer is no. They hide everything from you. You have to go to the warehouse when the information comes that uh, the governors are hiding in Domide. Every citizen goes there. They destroy the house, the warehouse, and they were carrying these things by themselves, by force. It happened in just. It happened in uh, Southwest Yoruba land. It happened in everywhere in Nigeria. People have to break into warehouses where these stupid and wicked devilish politicians, you know, stocked all this food that the government gave them to share. Today, these same people are telling you, don't sit at home. You are destroying our economy. You are adding to the suffering of the people. They have come to understand that our seat at home is adding to the suffering of the people. But they suffered these people for months during the COVID-19 lockdown. There was food to share. They couldn't share that food to you. Are you going to listen to people like that? No. You must not listen to people like that. The people and the person we are fighting for today for his release is Mazin Namdikano. He was not in Nigeria, but he sent palliative to Biafrans. He may not get to everybody in Biafra land, but he sent palliative. It is not whether the palliative Mazin Namdikano sent, uh, you know, reached the entire Biafrans. The most important thing is the mind the heart of the person. If Mazin Namdikano was in the opposition, is he going to hide the palliative? Is he going to hide the bag of rice in a, in a warehouse and allow you to come and break, up, break the place up and carry it? No! But the people that are telling you today not to sit at home, they are the one who did it. So my people... I want to encourage the entire Biafras today to begin to prepare for three days sit at home. We know that uh, that day, you know, from the 16th, they are going to unleash their, their killer squad, you know, trying to blackmail us, but we don't care. Just make sure you don't come out so that they will not have anything to blame anybody. 16th, 17th, and 18th of May. We are going to speak in a very big language that the Nigeria government and the world will understand how powerful Mazin Namdikano has become, especially in Biafra land. If you like this freedom that we are fighting, this particular three days sit at home will be no go area. We don't want to see Keke. And I am putting it as a warning to the Keke people because I know that when we are saying this thing now, this you see that the people they arrested today they are police officers they are non government they are police the military arrested they are so police nigeria police are the non government and this particular nigeria police will be the people to enforce this particular seat at home because they want to give their friends bad name they want to give simon a bad name but we don't care don't just be a victim of them you stay at home. What we are doing is for your own good. If Biafra come today, you are going to enjoy it more than me. So we are putting our life on the line for your freedom to come. When we say do something, do it. It is not something that will bring disadvantage to you. Everything we are doing is for your own good. It may not sound well. It may not sound very uh, 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 enjoyable, but believe me, it will pay off along the line. We must big up, speed up, beef up this particular pressure that is coming from all corner without looking back. If you want to call us name, call us name. We are ready to answer it. 
when it, if the name is a bad one, we will deny you and deny the name. But if you want to call us any name you want to call us, call us any name. Calling us a name does not mean that we are what you are calling us. You can call us anything. You can even call me, um, uh, what is it again? What is the, uh, what you know, call me Satan self. Am I a Satan? No. Call me the devil advocate. Am I a devil advocate? No. So you have your mouth. And uh, I cannot control what you call me. So you can call me anything. But the truth is that Biafrans are no longer fools. You have fooled them for many years. It is no longer business as usual. So I want you to understand that when we are shouting like this, take it very important. Let this message go. It is an order. We are going to obey this and make sure we fight for Mazin and Bikano until he come out and join us. He has sacrificed everything. We are at the last phase of this struggle. Believe me, this is the last phase. Nigeria is not finding it very easy. And they are never going to find it easy. The harder they come, the harder they be we become. The more they kill us, the more ruthless we become. This is the way to the freedom of our people. We are going to be free at the end of the day. And each and every one of you will make history. We are already making history. The next history that is coming is the three days at home. From Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And of course, if they change the, the court to the 26th, on the 26th of May, we sit at home. Let me tell you, when they ask you, some of them, they will tell you, what is it at home? You are suffering yourself. Yes. Let us suffer ourselves. Because who are you going to suffer in the first place? <laughs> are you going to suffer anybody? Let us suffer ourselves. If it is us that we are suffering, why are they worried about it? Are the people sitting at home complaining? Are they complaining? If it is a we that we are suffering ourselves, why is it their business? Let them allow us to suffer ourselves now. Hey, no the people that could not provide palliative for you are now concerned about you, telling you you are suffering. It is a lie. My people, you are not suffering for sitting at home. You are actually fighting the government with the highest weapon available to mankind, especially in a country like Nigeria, where nomadic people have find themselves, find a way to become president. Nomadic. So if they tell you that you are suffering, you are bringing the economy down, you are doing this and doing that, just walk away from that discussion. Don't even argue with the person. Tell the person to come out. Tell him to come out on the 16 and 17 and the 18 because we are not going to be the one to kill him. The Nigerian government will do it. Because they are going to fight every... Even if we cause it at home tomorrow now, they will send police on, uh, on Mufti and they tag them on non-government to go and start killing people. Ah, because all the thing they want to do is to make sure you are against the sit at home. But I am very, very happy. The spirit of Biafra have possessed everybody. So all this uh, blackmail of, uh, you know, slandering people's name doesn't work again. It used to work before. Now the people have suffered. Even the leaders are suffering. Today, every time they want, they say, come, let us uh, negotiate. Igbo presidency will come. Vote me. I will give the Igbo presidency. You were there listening to the one they call Ato Eze. Ato Eze. Eze, Ato Eze. If I talk now, they say I am insulting. Imagine, where is him today? These people that have absolutely nothing to offer to us. Arthur Eze was there shouting in a bony state. Oh, Buhari, Buhari is going to give Undigbo. Ocho Chautichi, Oweli Atiye Naku Umahi. Arthur Eze was there, wearing like a get man, a man who is uh, sleeping in money. Because of the evil of these people, and they are, when they come out, they will give five hundred thousand to this one. They say, "Oh, how to give five hundred thousand?" When they come, they will say, yeah, "This one, come and collect car." Oh, how to use the mug? 
Oji mete mogo we. Oji mete mogo in your own world. Ato Eze have been enjoying oil well. Is it normal? Is it normal for Ato Eze to have oil well? Ana kwe oji mote mogo. Ana kwe ya Eze, Eze ego. Ana kwe ya Ato Eze, come. Yeah, he, he will be high. Everybody will go there to sing in his house. In your own money and wealth. And he will go to um, uh, Ebony State where the, the president have come. Oh, you see, Umahi is a boy. Umahi is a man. Uh, Buhari will have a, you know, he will hand over to Umahi. Umahi will be so. Where is Omahi today? Where is Atoeze today? Ask him question. Where is Atoeze? He has disappeared. On you go see Nenuota. Oh, disappear. Go. Do you want me to show you the video? Because we need to be visiting the past to know the future. You need to know what these people, the impunity these people has done to our people. These are the people that bring sufferings to you. Ato Eze is uh, enjoying oil well. I, uh, you know, of course, he's not the only one. There are people, of, many of them in the north. But what contribution have Ato Eze done to, to, to start having oil well? If you talk, they say because. He has participated in the in Babangida regime. He was part of the... He can never be any reason other than betraying Ndibu. Go and look into Atoeze. Nobody, no Igbo man, will be allowed to have an oil block, an oil well, without being betraying Ndibu. It can never happen. So let us look at the reason why Ato Eze have oil well. Can anybody tell me? Can anybody tell me how did Ato Eze have oil well? What was the contribution in Nigeria project? No, we need to know. You see, this is the person, this is the time to start asking questions. What is his contribution in Nigeria, in Nigeria project that he merited oil well? It, it is not far from betraying Ndibo. You see, let me tell you, Ato Eze's statement in a Bonny state was a betrayal of Ndibo. It was the reason why he had the oil well. Anytime the opportunity comes to betray Ndibo, Ato Eze will come and present himself. And I worship here. And I be saying here, a lot of people will go to his house and they sing choir. Tomorrow now he will die. Everybody will say after he said this, after he said that. How did he become a oil well owner? Nobody is asking question. You know why? I am not uh, against them because he's not the only one who owns oil well. But let us ask this question: Why did Ato Eze go to a bony state and was shouting that Buhari is the Messiah? Buhari is going to hand over to Omahi, to Onyibo. And today, not only that Omahi is not contesting for president, they have destroyed Omahi's career. And Ateze have disappeared. So where is that Ateze that was shouting? Uh, give him, uh, uh, Buhari is going for third term, uh, second term. After the second term, he will hand over to Onyibo after today the Ato Eze is not here talking. I want people to send this video to him because when we were shouting that time, they called us name. They say we are small boys. They say we don't have uh, oil well. They say we don't have money. They say some of them say we are struggling in Europe. And today, now that I am addressing him this way with anger now, they will say, oh, he is insulting the, the man. That is what the Biafra agitators does. They insult. But he was the one insulting himself. I go and ask Atoese, 
Where is the Buhari he say he's going to hand over to Ndibu? In Abakaleke. And of course, we are going to, we have spent almost uh, one hour in this freestyle. Because what I did now is a freestyle. In fact, before going into addressing this, uh, this uh, prosecutor of the ICC, I think I need to play the video of Ato Eze. For some of you to, it may, may be because you know all of you, you, you forget all, all the time. So you forget all the time. Where is the widow wisdom we need to block? Where is the wisdom that needed to be blocked? A lot of people are saying block wisdom, block. Where is the wisdom? Let us block. Let us, I block Ishia here. We are going to block Ishia, not only his name. Where is the, the wisdom? I block why I block why my here. All right. Let us say. Uh, Look for the Atoeze one moment. I want all of you to listen to the, to the man because our own Ubu, we come with evidence. We don't just come to accuse anybody for anything. So let us bring out to Eze and ask you a question. Where? Ask him, where is him today? Where? Because they have oil well and, uh, you know, I will go in our banana and yeah, tomorrow, you know, everything he say is a wisdom. Oh, he's a coming from out to Eze. Listen to him. Now, look at the man. Ask him, where is he today? Look at him here. Not enough. Like someone like Buhari, after another four years, eight years in presidency, we give him the power, nobody at that. Only Buhari. Are you hearing that? After another four years, no Notana will do that. No Notana will do that, Oli Buhari. This was happening in Ebony State. Where is him today? Notana, like someone like Buhari, after another four years, eight years in presidency, we give him people's power. Nobody else will do that. Buhari. Where do you know the power here, Kada Buhari? Okay. Oh, Buhari will give us power. Okay. We can find the president to the man. Okay. Because he has conscience. Are you hearing it? He, this is the reason why he continued to maintain the oil well. Whenever the opportunity comes to betray Ndigo, this man can never stand on the truth. He will always stand on the path of Nigeria lies and criminality to continue to remain relevant.
takes a decision, it doesn't matter who you are, where you come from. Yeah, Mr. President, I'm very happy. Somebody like uh, uh, Umeha mm -hmm. is a young man yes. who fears God, who thinks about like yourself, mm -hmm. giving power mm -hmm. to read the people and Nigeria as a whole. I'm very grateful. I salute you, Mr. President. Yes. All the time, all the All the all the that was why he came to Ebony State. Hanachi. Ask him today, where is this man who have been misleading in the Igbo? When you go and touch, you touch them, they say, yeah, I pub, I miscrant. I pub, they, are, they don't have money. I pub, they don't have oil well. Why should we have oil well? I pub, uh, they are the one who, uh, they don't know what they are doing. We are the elders. Allow us to make decisions for you. Allow us to decide. Look at their decision. In Igbo Adage, they used to say, Yo Kenya no nana wefu, what are you no oji? Oga hafia. That was then. O wa tuari go. O wa ne mezin tuari. It is now what umwaka no na oche wefu. Ndo tu. Omahi na ato eze rie noje gahaga afia. We were telling this man during that time. You don't know Buhari. Of course they know. But he is protecting everything. Oh, 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 If it requires that it is time to invoke all the oil well because of him, Buhari will do it. Fulani will do it. Just to make sure now collect, they, they collect the oil well from him if he talk nonsense. He praised this man at the end of the day. Where is him today? He is gone. Omahi is gone. Two of them have disappeared from the political space. Uh, you know, the other day he was when he was fighting uh, Anyam. Uh, you know, Pius Anyam. He was passing, fighting Pius Anyam. He's a Pius Anyam. Yeah, when you were the Senate president. You did not remember me. You didn't honor my letters. I did not benefit anything from you. Do you understand? Atoeze was saying, and they wrote it on national news dailies and the newspaper, accusing Pius Anyem that when he was the Senate president, him, Atoeze, did not benefit anything from him. I, if, if you want, I will bring that one too. These are the people that destroyed the, your, your, your future. Today, we want to, we want to, you know, liberate you. We want to liberate you from them. And of course, do you know what? They are the ones now telling you that uh, sit at home is destroying the economy. Atoeze! Thank you so much, my wonderful viewers, for watching this video together with me from the beginning to the end. Like I said before, if you like what you see here, if you like what I do in this platform, as you have finished watching this video, please hit that red button that says subscribe and put on your notification bell to all notifications. In that way, you'll be able to know when I upload a new video. Share my videos, leave your comments in the comment section constructively. Until I meet your way again in my next video, I still remain your Linda's TV show. Bye-bye.